guys. Today we are in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, standing in front of the Back Alley Grill. And we're with Josh from Joshy and Stacy. We're gonna go in here. He said it's a great place. He got some great sloppy I joes. Like <laughs> well, we're gonna find out. He's coming with us, so if it's no good, he's gonna pay for it all. <laughs> so are you ready, guys? I'm ready. Let's, ready. Let's, Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> place was voted number five as the top best lunch spots in Tennessee. There's the ones ahead of them. Right there they are. This is the Dying Man Fried Bologna Sandwich is a favorite, so that's what I'm going to have to get. And I love this sign. We do not have Wi-Fi. Talk to each other and it's 1995. Like to see that. Again. Let's look at the menu at Tom and Earl's Back Alley Grill. Let's look at the appetizers first. Some corn fritters, chips and salsa, chili cheese fries, pickles, some soups and salads, wraps and more. Let's flip it over. Between the buns. Let's just look. Sloppy Jethro, that's what Bobby's gonna get. Sloppy Joe's. Thank you. Porky's Choice. Patty Milk. There's what I'm getting. The Dying Man. That's what's in the article from TripAdvisor, so I had to get that. Hillbilly Philly, that's what Josh is gonna get. He said that is excellent. So good. Now you can get a premium side, you can choose one, or you can choose two regular sides. We chose the two with the uh, coleslaw and the baked beans. Kids menu and beverages, and they serve Pepsi. And they are a full bar, and you can see if you want that, they have plenty of choices to get. And you can also sit outside. This place is named after Tom and Earl. Food just arrived, came pretty fast, and let's just take a look. Look at that bologna. Fried up nice with the pulled pork, the mustard. Let's just go over here, look at, look at this. Wow. Full of brisket, full of brisket. <laughs> and what all else you got in there? You got some peppers. Little peppers, onions, some provolone cheese on top. And they give you all your sauce dip in there too, which is almost like a French dip, but not. And your fries got some decent looking fries there. They're better for us. And Bobby. It's made a salad, the baked beans. And Josh said, this is Josh really said we got to get that. I love sloppy joes. I'm going to try the meat first. All right, try it. See some green peppers in there. See if it's better than manwich. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> is. <laughs> No comparison, John. How's the bun? Look at that. Okay. Here's where it gets sloppy. I was going to say, oh. I'm going to try not to be too sloppy. That is excellent. You see, like I said, a little bit of the green peppers. And it is sloppy. The bun, the bun like is, the bun. bun's been toasted. You got some uh, okay, potato salad. Perfect size for the sandwich like that. You don't it need is. a big side. Nice and creamy. Potatoes are done well. I'm gonna ask Josh. Josh, is that homemade or do you know? So that someone? It is not. Okay. It used to be. Oh. All right. They used to make it. But that is actually really good. Yes. There's the bean. You get good flavors too. Everything's hot. This is nice and cold. So this is a perfect nice yeah, that's meal. A nice looking meal. All right. I'm gonna go over here. And Josh, like you're ready to tear into that. You mean you're watching us waiting? Right? Hurry up, man! You're ready, going. man. He he's, <laughs> he's ready. All right, man. Go ahead, take that bite or however you want to eat it. Probably with a fork's the best way to go. Uh, yeah, you have to get it down a little bit. Moss will be really, really messy. I get it up here. That cheese is stringing on it. So good. 
Yeah, it's killer. And you this, get this. This is all. my favorite thing on the menu. That's what you said. You get this almost every time. Yeah, sometimes I get it without the bun. Normally I get it without the bun. But I like, I wanted to dip it today, so. That bun, it's, that's been toasted too, right? It's all been toasted. They load it down. Look at this. This is brisket. Like, this is a Philly made with brisket. And you know your brisket, too. You say that's yeah. good stuff. And this is good. This is really good. And the, and the fries look kind of crispy. They're beer batter fries. The beer batter fries are, they're, they are crispy. They're really, really good. It holds up on the way to catch it up. You put it in there and it won't break apart. <laughs> you pick it up. So that's a big difference. All right. Okay, guys. Let's look at this. Got the toasted bun with Bobby. Stone ground mustard. Cheese. Look at the bologna. But look at all the other stuff. It's got bacon on there. And pulled pork. That's a meal. I don't know how I'm going to eat all that. But... At least it's fat free. It's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is for people that are trying to watch their weight. Yeah. <laughs> go up. Look. <laughs> watch the weight yeah, go up. That's right. I'm just going to get it right there. Well, guys, that's a heck of a bite. Main thing I noticed about it was it's like a pulled pork sandwich. Couldn't get a lot of flavor from the bologna. Maybe I didn't get a big enough bite of it. Didn't get any the mustard in that first bite. But look, I missed the mustard. But it's a pulled pork sandwich. That's excellent. So I'm gonna take one more bite here, try to get some of this bologna. All right, that second bite, I got some of the mustard. I can definitely taste that. This is that little spice. Still couldn't taste a lot of bologna. Must just blend in perfectly. I mean, it's an excellent sandwich, but that pulled pork, if you like pulled pork, this would be a place to come and get that. And Bobby had the baked beans. I don't know if I can finish all that. Nice size. The coleslaw has a nice flavor to it. Nice crunch. It's cold. Hadn't been sitting around. Perfect size because, guys, you wouldn't want too big size. If you eat that, you're not even going to need a size. So I'm happy with this. Quick update on the sandwich. Third bite. I got the bologna. It's being fried. Fried perfectly. You can taste it in there. First few bites, I think, was all just... Uh, pulled we'll pork on the outside and it's so great and it blends in perfectly. So guys, if you want to know where the back alley grill is, Old Smoky, directly across the street at the marketplace and it's right back through there. Can't miss that sign, marketplace. Let's just take a look back through here. A lot of good shops back through here. Also, right across from the back alley grill. Make sure you go into Josh's store, the trunk of man. So there is the back alley grill. With their outside seating, if you don't want to sit inside, you can sit out back. Directly in front of it is Trunk of Man. Make sure you stop in and say hello. So we just left the back alley grill. I go there quite a bit. For what they charge and for their quality of food, it's unmatched to Gatlinburg in my opinion. Every local in Gatlinburg goes over there. Every one of them. And that's where you meet the people around Gatlinburg. Just go over there, sit down, and you'll, you'll meet a lot of people from Gatlinburg. Food though, I hadn't had anything bad off the menu at all. I enjoy it, always enjoy it. That's why I, and I tell people to go over there. I mean, I eat there a lot. Well, we enjoyed it. Bobby, yeah. what did you think about it? Yeah, I, like Josh said, you could tell it's a friendly atmosphere mm. in there. And they did know Josh, very friendly. Our waitress was excellent. I don't remember her name, Dad. Venetia. She did a great job. I got to enjoy the sloppy Jeffro <laughs> <laughs> and the way they had it toasted. The potato salad was nice and creamy, so I thought it was an excellent lunchtime oh, meal. Oh, and my sandwich, you guys saw it. It was so big, I put, took the first couple bites, got all pork barbecue, and that was great. I could have got that by itself. And on the third bite, it got into the bologna. You could taste the fried bologna with the mustard. It was a big sandwich, we couldn't finish it. I'm glad we came here, and I think Josh said, uh, when we saw him about TripAdvisor, but he said they've won a lot of awards and stuff yeah. around here. They're, it's yeah, they not have. hard to find. Go out here like we showed you at the marketplace, walk all the way back. Can't be in the price. I think it was $13 a piece for those meals. It was definitely worth it. Had great company. When you're back here, 
Come in here and see Josh and tell him you saw it on j and in the Hills. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, j and have, have left, left the, the building. building. Well, you guys saw earlier we had Josh from Joshy and Stacy with us and we're in his store, Trunk of Man. Tell us a little bit about this store, Josh. We specialize in beard care. We're actually the nation's largest beard care company. Uh, we ship out about 5,800 orders a week of just beard care alone. Uh, and we make all of our own natural soaps. So every, most everything you see in the store, we make. And we're a little low on inventory right now. Supply chain sucks a little bit, but we're getting better. We're getting closer to be back in stock. And so we're, we'll get there. We'll be there before summertime. And Bobby and I both tried the soaps, and it's excellent. Yeah. We loved them. So if you guys go to the, the back alley grill, just walk over and say hello to Josh.